welcome back to our channel. Um, I'm Kim, and today we are going to be trying a new bath bomb recipe for me. Um, I haven't tried this recipe before, so we are going to experiment and see how it goes. Um, there's always a good chance of failure with a new recipe, so things will probably have to be tweaked and We'll do that as we go. So, that being said, let's have fun. Okay, so for this recipe today, we need four cups of baking soda, two cups of citric acid, a cup of cornstarch, Um, two tablespoons of SLSA, which makes foamies, so it's not just a fizzy bath bomb, it's also a bubbly bath bomb. And then in the liquids here we have uh, two tablespoons of grapeseed oil, two tablespoons of 91% rubbing alcohol, um, and two tablespoons of our scent, which today we are making, um, what did I say we are making? We are making lavender, wild berry lavender vanilla, I believe is what I chose. Um, yeah, wild berry lavender vanilla. So these are going to be three colored bath bombs. After we get everything all mixed up, we'll split it off into three batches and color them separately. That's why there's no color in my liquids. So like normal, citric acid always goes in last. And here we have all of our other dry ingredients. You want to stir this really carefully because the SLSA is a really fine powder and it will definitely make you cough and it is not a fun experience. So now that I have all of the baking soda and the cornstarch and the SLSA all mixed together, we will give our liquid ingredients here a little quick stir and this is two tablespoons of grapeseed oil, two tablespoons of 91% uh, rubbing alcohol, two tablespoons of scent and two tablespoons of polysorbate 80 which keeps the color and the glitter from uh, creating a ring around your tub. It's called a surfactant. It um, makes sure that all of the glitter and the colorant uh, mix well into your, your bath water. Definitely makes for a more enjoyable experience because nobody wants to clean up a ring around their bathtub from their bath bombs. So now we're going to mix this all in really well. And it's just, it mixes in much better if you just get right in there with your hands. And just knead it. Like if you're making a pie crust and you're kneading your, or like breaking up your butter into your flour, this is the same thing. Just mix all of your dry ingredients well with your wet ingredients. Now 
Now I can tell that this is not going to be nearly wet enough. Oh, but it smells so good. That wild berry and that vanilla go so well with the lavender. Now see, if you squeeze it in your hand, it should stay in a clump like this. Let's see if we can. Hey babe, Yo. can you touch the screen of the phone for me? My gloves aren't working. What are you going to touch? Right where I'm showing the thing. Right here? Yep. There we go. It should stay together in a clump like this, and when you drop it back in the bowl, it should stay. Now this is, but I know from experience that it's not quite enough moisture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spray bottle with 91% rubbing alcohol in it, and I'm going to give it eh, between six and eight good mists. And then I'm going to mix that all in, and we'll see if that's better. No, it's a little bit better. Still not quite enough. So what you want to do is you want to give it some more rubbing alcohol. It's definitely better to do this before you put the citric acid in, you have less of a chance of a reaction with your citric acid if you do this all while you're working with your dry ingredients before. Now, if you don't want to take all the time to do this by hand, you can also use a hand mixer to do this, or you can do a, use a stand mixer to do this, and just let it mix really well before you, uh, before you go to add your citric acid. Okay, now that we've mixed this, let's see if this is more the right consistency. That looks like the right consistency now. So now that we've done that, we want to add our two cups of citric acid. I'm going to need that little, so I don't... <laughs> wow, that's sour. to get that mixed in really well with the rest of your dry ingredients. Okay, that should be absolutely perfect. Let's give it a test. Squeeze it. Oh yeah, that is going to be exactly how you want it. And it stays in a clump once you drop it in the bowl. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up after ourselves because bath bomb making is a messy job. We are going to separate this into three different bowls. I would normally weigh this, but my scale has decided that it needed to retire. So I want less of one color than the others. I want more purple and blue than I do of the yellow. So let's 
and do this one blue. Add some. Oh, okay. See how that fuzzed up, fizzed up? This is why you want to use micas to color your bath bombs. I have some coming. It's ordered, but you know, like everything else, supply chain issues. So we will have that when we have it. It's as good as I'm going to get it mixed with a whisk. And then over here we have the purple, which is also going to fizz. Oh, that's it for my purple. Well, I hope that is the color we want. Is not. Let's see if I have another purple in here. Uh, let's see. Well, that's peach, red, green. That is not what we wanted. So we will. Do this the fun way. We will do some blue. And now my blue's gone. <gasps> that one's not fizzing. That one's more syrupy than watery. Did you find that, babe? Yeah, that was a We'll see what this gives us. Let's see if I have some... That's pink. I want red. That's peach. There's red. Add some red. Like I said, experiment. Now, when the color is not all mixing in the way you want it to, like this is, you just have to get in there with your hands and squeeze it all in. Otherwise, you'll be left with spots of color in your bath bomb that you don't want. And the nice thing is, is that blue and red really do make purple, guys. And the pink gave it a little bit more of a lavendery tone. And that is what I wanted. Let's just get this all mixed in real well. That is a nice lavender color. Can you see that? And then we'll go over here and we'll make sure our blue is all mixed in really well. I'm trying to decide what color I want to do my third color. Because we've got wild berry, lavender, and vanilla. What color should we do vanilla? How about just a touch of yellow? Not a whole lot, just a touch. And we'll 
we'll get that mixed in just so it's not white. Not that there's anything wrong with white bath bombs because I make white bath bombs all the time. Now, there's multiple ways that you can do this. So, I am not going to make round bath bombs today. I am going to make my mooncake bath bombs. Once again, the dogs are convinced there's somebody here. Let me get my area straightened up and I will be right back. Okay, now I've cleaned up a little bit of our mess and made a bigger mess because while you were gone, my whole filming situation just collapsed. It was a mess. So I got a little bit irritated, took a little bit of a break. Now we're back. And we are going to make these bath bombs. Now, this is a mooncake press. You can get them on Amazon fairly cheap. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bath bomb mixture. I'm going to take some blue. Actually, no, I'm not because I forgot to add the bio glitter. Uh, usually, for the bath bombs, I actually just put it right in the bath bomb mix. So, put some blue in, add a little bit of yellow, add some purple, make sure it's in the nooks and crannies, add a little more blue. Add a little more yellow. And then you just take it like this and you flip it and you press down and pull up. And that is what they're going to look like. Let's see if I can fix the color. There we go. Now, we'll do the next one. Add a little bit of glitter, shake it all around. This time we'll start with some purple. Add in some yellow some blue. Now, make sure that's all. You want to make sure it's pushed into all of the little things on the side. And we'll add a little bit more purple. A little bit more yellow. And then do the same thing. Just take it, press it down. and lift and move that off to the side. Now, after you've done this and you've filled your molds with all your colors and you've pressed all your bath, bath bombs, you need to let these sit and harden for 24 hours. It gives them a chance to dry out because Wet bath bombs don't float. And you want your bath bomb to float and fizz and foam and move around your bathtub because that's the fun of a bath bomb. Press this down, lift it up. 
Uh oh. I lost my pattern because I did not put glitter in it. And that acts kind of like your butter. Makes it so it's nice and holds your pattern but releases. I guess I should say it's kind of like your cooking spray. It helps it release. So we've done the moon cake. Let's do something different. Let's see. How about balls? We can do that. Okay, so. These are just plastic Christmas ornaments that I bought at Michael's. They split in two. They're nice, they're cheap, they are so easy. So what you wanna do is you wanna put a little bit of one color in, put a little bit of another color in. Could you do me a favor? No. That drawer in the plastic bins? No. no. Could you go grab me a set of chopsticks? Because you can use the chopsticks and make a swirl. It's a miracle. You knew where they were. Yeah. So just use a chopstick and go in and swirl. And it makes a little swirly design. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Pack it down just a little bit. You don't wanna pack it in a whole lot. Now the other side, I'm not gonna swirl. I'm only gonna swirl the one side. So this side, we'll put some colored salts in. Put purple salts. Put some... You, know, you want to pack that down on the salts so that it holds the salts in. Otherwise, when you pull the bath bomb apart, the salts are going to come out. Add some purple. Add some yellow. Pile it up with some purple. Pile this side up with some purple. And then just squish it together really tight. Wipe off your sides. Now before I was banging these on the table like this. And then you just pop them out and you've got salt on top. And you don't have to do the salts on top. You can leave them just plain. And then, I forgot to show you the, the, oh, the swirly bottom from swirling with the chopstick. It gives a really nice effect. So I think we'll leave the salts alone and we'll just have purple, have blue, Give it a good swirl. Add some yellow, some more purple. Pack it down a little bit. Oh, there's a, there it is. Add some yellow, add some blue. Pile it with some purple. And then you just wanna Squeeze it together and twist to get all the excess out. Wipe around your edges so you have clean edges. Knock it on the table and knocks it loose from the mold. And there you go. I 
All right, now I will finish putting these together and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, now I have finished putting them all together and this is how they turned out. I've got the two moon cakes that I did. And then I did uh, eight large bath bombs and then I made one little heart. And I ended up making three embeds because like my grandma used to say, waste not, want not. So I use every little bit of everything. Um, I don't believe in wasting anything. So these will now sit, um, I put them in the plastic ornament in one half to sit so that the bath bombs stay round and they don't get flat spots. Uh, I do the same with the hearts. They sit in a little half because then they don't get flat. Now, there's nothing I can do about the moon cakes because you can't just set them in a press and leave them. Um, but that is today's adventure in bath bombs. Okay, that was um, an adventure with this recipe. Um, we'll see how they dry. Uh, depending on how they dry is how I will edit my recipe. Um, if they dry great and everything's perfect, um, I need to add another um, probably three whole tablespoons of 91% rubbing alcohol to my mix. Um, the higher the content, the higher the percentage of the rubbing alcohol, the less water content there is. So it does evaporate. It, the moisture doesn't stay in there. So, um, yeah, that's why I use 91% rubbing alcohol. But we'll just wait and see uh, how these turn out. I will film another clip and upload it probably in 48 hours. Uh, by then I'll know if they've turned out or not. So for now, I will upload this video and uh, please, if you liked it, uh, subscribe, give me a like, uh, hit the notification bell. And if there's anything you'd like to see uh, Rob and I do, um, Leave us comments. We like comments. We like input. Um, we're up for a challenge. Yeah? One way or another. One way or another. So, that's it. Thanks for spending time with me. Go do something good for yourself today. Bye.